So, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, the seventh annual talent show's tonight. Me and Timmy are entering. A talent show? What kind of talent do you butt buddies have besides stretching your butts? Well, Timmy can sing. Well, so can you. Aww. I want to join the talent show. What talent do you have, Junior? Uh, I could do magic tricks. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. I'll be the best magician ever, and I'll beat you guys. Oh, dude, I'm going to join the talent show. What talent do you have? My talent is on my shirt, dude. The color green is not a talent. Dude, you're stupid. It's obviously balling. Well, don't steal our idea. Ew, not that ball. Basketball, idiot. I want to do talent show. All right, how about we all join the talent show, and whoever wins, wins. Well, that is how it works, yeah. You're going down, guys. Oh. Let's say you're all going down. Hello and welcome to the seventh annual talent show. The winner today will win this big gold trophy in a million dollars. Now let's meet the judges. The first judge is Leroy Butterbottom. Hello, everybody. The next judge is the always mad and never impressed bald Simon Cowell. I am not amused. I don't care about anything. And the third judge is the daughter of Hubba Bubba, Lisa Bubba. I'm chewing double bubble because I hate my dad. Your gum sucks, dad. Let the talent show begin! Hi everybody, my name's Penelope and I can hula hoop for a really long time. Go! What the hell was that? Oh sweetie, never try that again. That was so terrible, it made one of my kidneys fail. Ouch. I'm so sorry! <laughs> Who's next? Bye. Bye, the curtains are open. Huh? Oh, hey everybody! I am Brooklyn Guy, and this here is my partner, Simmons. Hello, everyone! Hello. And today, we, we I, I mean I, I am going to be shooting an apple off of Simmons' head while blindfolded and plastered drunk. If I got behind the wheel of a car right now, <laughs> I'd kill somebody. All right, Simmons, you ready? Yeah, bud, let's go. Okay, Apple, where are you, you little scamp? Let me see. Oh, that feels right, okay. <laughs> what, what, did I get it? Did I hit the apple? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I just killed Simmons. Da, na, na, na. Oh, guys, we saw I've seen better homicides in a Looney Tune. Hey everyone, I'm Junior the Magician! And he sucks! I don't suck, I'm actually good at magic. You guys be the judge if I suck or not. So today's trick, I'm gonna be sawing Chef Pee Pee in half! No the hell he's not! I have to for the talent show. No you're not, you're not sawing me in half and killing me for a talent show! I'm not gonna actually kill you Chef Pee Pee. Well we're not gonna find out cause you're not sawing me in half. Please? No! <sighs> okay, sorry everyone, there was a change in today's trick lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, the next trick, I'm gonna make Chef Pee Pee disappear! Here. Just put this blanket over him. Put the blanket over him. All right. And on the count of three, Chef Pee Pee's going to disappear in front of your eyes. One. Ow! Two. That hurts, Junior. Three. God damn it, I'm out of here. Ta-da! I made Chef Pee Pee disappear. Oh my God, where did he go? He just disappeared out of thin air. Oh my God, it's crazy. Two stretchy buttholes. Two stretchy buttholes for me. I'm not impressed. Are there any more tricks? Okay, for my final trick, I will be grabbing a random card from this deck of cards, showing it to the judges, and then putting the card back in the deck, and then letting one of the judges shuffle the deck, and then I will then find that card I showed the judges. Okay, uh, this card. What card is that? Don't tell me. I will grab a different card. This one. Okay, I, I do not know which card that is, and I will grab the deck and hand it to the judge. All right, who would like to shuffle the deck? Oh, me, me, get my knickers wet. <laughs> Did he just say a bad word? He can say it. You suck at shuffling. Will you shuffle him? Okay. It doesn't have to be that good, just, just, just anything. I'm doing it, do it my way. Huh. All right, okay. I have gotten the deck back from the judges, and it's all shuffled. There's no way I would know the card I just showed you guys. That's why. It's going to be the one that I choose right now. Is this the card I showed you earlier? No. 
It's not? No, it's not. Oh. Well, I had a 1 in 52 chance, and I didn't get it. But if I would have gotten it, that would have been crazy. Good night, everybody. My god, does anyone have any real talent in this town? Who's next? Touch my body, make me happy, make my cheeks go clappy, clappy. Hi, my name is Timmy's daddy, slurps on me cause I'm a baddie. Gaining weight, my schlong is fatty, eats it like a crabby patty. Ride me daddy, harder daddy, I need to be punished daddy. Take it Timmy, tug it Timmy, you need to be punished Timmy. Take this wood, like you should, damn Timmy it feels so good. Feels so good because that's how it's supposed to feel. <sighs> thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Timmy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can't forget this. Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Bravo! Encore Oscar! <laughs> that would be a Grammy. They deserve all of them! They did perfect! Oh my god, I loved it! <laughs> that was the most homosexual thing I've ever seen. I kind of like that. I loved it! Hi guys, my name is Joseph, and I'm gonna do the sickest, nastiest slam dunk ever recorded. I'm gonna alley oop it to myself off the backboard, 360 slam dunk windmill. Watch this. Huh? Splendid, but I could deal without the Kobe comet. <laughs> Throwing a ball in a hoop is not impressive. I thought it was cool. Oh my god, he's like LeBron James. Hello, today my name is Screwball, and I'm a clown, and my talent is, is I make animal balloons out of balloons for kids at their birthday parties. So my first animal is a snake. The next animal is a worm. The next animal is a caterpillar with no legs. And the next animal is an eel. And the next animal is a centipede with no legs. And the next animal is a crocodile with no legs and no arms. And the next animal is uh, a green giraffe with no legs. This is just a dinosaur dick. And for my grand finale, Kermit the Frog's dick. Ta-da! I noticed that all of them were like the same shape. Duh, that's the magic. He's only making one balloon. Why not make a dog or perhaps a spider? All those are too hard. They're not too hard because I made a dog under the table while you were doing all of that. Find a new talent because this one isn't it. You make me sick. I'm sorry. Will someone please come out with some goddamn talent? Hey everybody, my name is Patrick and I'm a ventriloquist. This here is my ventriloquist dummy. I'm not a dummy, you're the dummy. Little Patrick, that's not very nice. Now little Patrick, what do you like to do for fun? Well there's not much I can do with your hand up my butt. Little Patrick, you're not supposed to tell people I put my hand up your butt. But I just want you to stop doing it. Please, shut up little Patrick. I'm now going to take a sip of water while I let little Patrick do all the talking. <coughs> hey everybody, I'm little Patrick. It's really hard to talk while you drink the water. <coughs> I almost drowned. I wish you had drowned. Little Patrick, that's not nice. I'm gonna go give you a spanking. Good night, everybody. Little Patrick, I can't believe you embarrassed me like that out there. Well, I just want you to stop putting your hand in my butt. I won't put my hand in your butt. I'd like to see you try, little Patrick. Okay. Get your hand in my butt, little Patrick. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Little Patrick got his hand in my butt. I'm starting to think. 
He's controlling that thing. No shit, Nimrod. Is that his little brother? Hey, hey there. I'm homeless, but I don't know how to juggle. I don't want to juggle these beer bottles. Usually they whistle. Back to juggling. Well, good night, everybody. Thank you. Is security not checking who's coming in here? Maurice, don't let any more goddamn hobos in the building. Hey, everyone. My name is Jeffy, and my talent is that I can do impressions. Go on. Hot dog! How's it going, everybody? Who wants to see my rat dick? Ha <laughs> ha! Miss Piggy, I know you're a cheating on me, you two timing slut. You bang Bert and Ernie at the same time. Ag -ag 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 -ag. Go to the strip club, but that costs me money. Ag -ag 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 -ag. <laughs> came in the mail today. These nuts. Ha! Got him! <laughs> Got him! Hello, my friend. I've never flown a plane before. What up for that building, Maurice? Ah! <laughs> Name's George W. Plane just hit the South Tower. My bad. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing! How do you have that many people inside you? <laughs> I've never had that many people inside me. Maybe a few. No, but like really? How did he do that? How did he have so many voices coming out of him? <laughs> Mimicking people with actual talent is not a talent. Get off my stage. That was the last contestant. Let's see who the judges choose to be the winner. If it were up to me, all of these contestants would lose. I refuse to pick a winner and you can't make me. Well, I love the gay song, but that's just me. Oh my god, me too! Really? Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> well, how about my balloon dog? Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was pretty nice. Who votes I win? Hmm. Mm. That settles it. I keep my million dollars. Thanks for watching. See you next season. Ooh, for the seventh year in a row, it looks like bald Simon Cowell wins! I can't believe none of us won. Yeah, dude, that judge totally robbed us! Bald Simon Cowell does that every year. He's won seven years in a row with his stupid balloon animals. And nobody saw that coming? I really thought our song could beat his balloon animal this year. Well, what about my magic tricks? You got the card wrong, Junior. Nah, my dunk would've brought Kobe back to life, nigga. Damn, Joseph, that's two Kobe jokes in one video. Calm down. But it's true! Well, I made Chef Pee Pee disappear. Appear. I did voices. Yes, you did. Uh, Cody, you forgot to get the other ball out. There were two up there? Damn. Last Oreo. No, I get the last Oreo. No, I get it. Cause I, my house. Guys, I don't guys, like... guys, my parents might be getting divorced, and I've already heard enough yelling today. That's I don't not care. Important. I want the I Oreo. I want the it's Oreo. My Oreo. Give it to my me, Oreo dude. Because... What's going on here? Well, Jeffy, there's only one Oreo left, and I believe it belongs to me because it's my house, and they're my Oreos. No, it doesn't, dude. I'm the guest. I should get the last Oreo. Well, in my opinion, why don't you guys cut it in half, and then you each get a piece? <gasps> Wait, that would be fair. We would both get half the Oreo. Dude, how did you come up with that? Whoa, Jeffy, you're a genius. You should be a lawyer. Really? Yeah, you should take the bar exam and become a lawyer. What's the bar exam? It's a test that you take to become a lawyer, as previously implied. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, Jeffy, you'll be a really good lawyer. All right, Joseph, let's split this Oreo. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Hey, don't, don't, don't. Sorry, you'll get any wrong with you. Yeah, that you, you, you can't cut it into three. You can't cut it in threes. All right, welcome to the Florida State Bar Exam. In order to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. So I have a bunch of candy bars laid out here in front of you, and you have to smell each one and then correctly identify it, because a lawyer needs to have a good sense of smell. Like, you have to be able to smell if somebody's guilty or not, like you smell out a rat, okay? So let's start with an easy one. Smell that. Hershey's. Well, oh, very good, of course. How about this? Snickers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds like a slur, but let's try this one. Twitch. Okay, okay, that's good. What about this? 
Finger on my butt. Oh no, Butterfinger. Well, almost, almost got you there. Okay, let's try this one. Kit Kat. Okay, that's good. Now this one, this one's a hard one. Uh, what you might call it? Well, okay, that's it. You passed the bar exam. Congratulations, you are now a lawyer. Yay! Hey, Daddy, I'm a lawyer now. I passed the bar exam. But Jeffy, you're too young to drink. What? No, Jeffy, you can't be a lawyer. There's no way you passed the bar exam. Well, I did. I smelled all the candy bars and guessed them correctly. Yeah, your son's a lawyer now. But Jeffy's not smart enough to be a lawyer. Well, he's the first person I've ever met to actually pass the bar exam without even studying. It took me three times. It was that damn whatchamacallit. It just smells like chocolate. Jeffy, why would you want to become a lawyer? Because I want to help people and make a lot of money. Yeah, lawyers get paid, bro. No one's going to hire you to be a lawyer, Jeffy. No one's going to trust you. Well, people have actually been blowing up his phone all day. They saw that commercial he made. What, a commercial? Yeah, look. Hey there! Been in a car accident? Someone suing you? Got a boo-boo? Well, call Babu Bop Bop and Babu. I don't get paid unless you do. So call us right now. Babu Bap Bap Babu. This message was approved by Jeffy. Babu Bap Bap Babu. Babu Bap Bap and Babu? Attorneys at law, daddy. That's ridiculous. No one's gonna hire you. Well, I actually hired him for my restraining order case later today. A actually, you know what, Jeffy? You have a case coming up. You better get to it. All right. All right, daddy. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm so proud of Jeffy being a big boy lawyer. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jackie Chu, whose Chinese restaurant is in danger of being shut down by the health inspector, who claims that he has been cooking cat and dog and serving it to people as food. Mr. Health Inspector, what have you witnessed in his Chinese restaurant? I witnessed them taking cats and dogs out of cages, cooking them, and then serving them as orange chicken. Good lord. Mr. Chu, these are very serious and gross accusations. What do you have to say about this? I do serve canned dog, but it's delicious. Wow, you just admitted it. Just like that. Okay, well, does your lawyer have anything to say to help you get out of this situation? Yes, Your Honor. My client does serve canned dog, but my question to you... Have you ever tried it? God, no! Cats and dogs are so cute and cuddly, I would never eat them! Never! Your Honor, there's an old saying, don't knock it till you try it. And I believe you should try it before you judge. Hmm, you make a good point. I've never tried it, so I guess I don't actually know what it tastes like. I suppose I can have one piece. Ugh. Mr. Chu, you are not guilty. Mm, this is delicious. I must have more. Mr. Health Inspector, you are fired and no longer allowed to inspect food. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Thank you so much for saving my family's restaurant. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Danny, check out all this moo moo guap guap. Jeffy, where'd you get all this moo moo guap guap? <laughs> I won my first case today, Daddy, and he was bing bong as fuck. What, Jeff, you actually won a case? Mervin, he passed his bar exam. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, sure do, Daddy. And I got another case to get ready for, so let me go ahead and break you off a piece of this bread right here. Give you a few bread crumbs, because you know I gotta hook you up because you're my daddy. All right, over here. That's good. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable George Poomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who wants to file a restraining order against his brother Jonathan for trying to hook up with his wife. Brooklyn Guy, tell me what has happened. So, my brother Jonathan is a 30-year-old virgin who still lives with our mom, and he's always hitting on my wife and trying to bang her, so I just want to get a restraining order so he can't come near me or my wife. Very understandable. Jonathan, is any of this true? Well, Brooklyn guy is just jealous because his wife thinks I'm a total hunk. She's always staring at me up and down trying to get a glimpse of my meat whistle. Like, damn lady, I'm a human too. I have feelings. I'm not just a piece of eye candy you get to suck on. She, my client, is a victim! It's true! Oh, bullshit, Your Honor. Jonathan's lying. No woman is attracted to him. Order, order, order! Everybody settle down! 
Karen, do you feel like you're in danger of Jonathan? Like maybe he's stalking you or trying to do things to you? Well, he does say a lot of weird things. Yes, Your Honor, she feels afraid. I see. Well, Jonathan, I have no choice but to grant the restraining order, unless your lawyer would like to say anything about this case. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. I got a booger on my nose. It's a deep booger. Come here, booger. Get out of my nose. Oh, no. He said booger three times. Hey, Brooklyn guy! It's me, your imaginary friend, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Go away. I'm in court. Ooh, did you do something bad, huh? Huh? Did you get a DUI? No. Did you rob a bank? No. Did you kill someone? I'm gonna kill you if you don't go away. Oh, come on, Booger guy. You don't mean that. Shut the hell up, Booger. Mr. Guy, who are you talking to? No one, Your Honor. Oh, come Brooklyn guy, you don't want to tell him about your best pal, Booger? Are you ashamed of me? Yes. Oh, come on! I'm like your hype man. I'm always there saying, you the man, Brooklyn guy. You the freaking man. I know, Booger. And then if anyone ever says you're not the man, I say, they're wrong, because you the man. Hey, who's this judge guy? But that's the judge. You want me to go mess with him? No, please don't. I'm going to go mess with him. No, Booger, don't. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head talking to you? Your Honor, Brooklyn Guy is clearly insane. He's not mentally stable, and he's making false claims of Jonathan stalking his wife. I am mentally stable. Booger, get away from the judge. Stop trying to give him a wet willy. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head speaking to you? I'm giving him a wet willy, Brooklyn Guy. Yes, Your Honor there is a very annoying ass voice who really needs to shut the hell up. Hey, Brooklyn guy, did you see what I did to that judge? I gave him a wet willy. Yeah, I saw it, booger. Oh, did you like it? Was it funny? Shut the hell up. Oh, that's not very nice, Brooklyn guy. Shut up or I'll kill you. I have heard enough. Mr. Guy, you are clearly mentally unwell, so I will not be granting your restraining order. I will, however, be admitting you to a mental health facility immediately. What? No, a mental health facility? Oh, you think I serve pizza there? My favorite's pepperoni. Shut the fuck up, Booger. Oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? It tastes pretty decent in my hand. Yes, justice is served. And now with Brooklyn Guy gone, Karen will be all alone for me to try to bang her. Oh, thank you, Jeffy. You're the best lawyer ever. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Oh, damn, look, I just got back from KFC and look at all this 10 beef chickens I got. Baby, he just won another case. Jeffy, thank you for my new purse. And thanks for my Armani sunglasses. Sure thing, daddy. Yeah, here go another 10 piece for tomorrow. Yeah. Here you go, mommy. You can have you a 10 piece too. No sauce on that bit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeffy. Keep winning cases. I'm gonna go shopping. Order, 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 order. I'm the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear. And today we will be hearing the case of Tyrone and Judith. Judith wants a divorce from Tyrone because he has been cheating on her. Judith, let's hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, Tyrone just keeps cheating on me over and over again with so many women. I just want to be done. Hmm. Tyrone, what do you have to say? Now listen, everybody owns more than one pair of shoes. You don't just wear the same pair every day. That's me with pussy. I want the house and everything. No, ho, I pay all the bills. You can have the boy. I don't want the boy. I want the house. Order, order, order. Okay, it sounds like the divorce is settled. It is happening. But now we need to figure out who gets the house and all of the assets. Jeffy, what do you think? I think that you take the chainsaw, you cut the house in half, and everything they own in half, so it's 50-50. Hmm, that's fair. I like it. I grant you both 50-50 of everything. Cut everything in half with a chainsaw. The boy too. Fucking what? Hell, I'll get the chainsaw. I'll hold him down. What now? Babu, babu, babu. Beep, beep, beep. It's Amazon Prime. I got another package for you. Shine right here, Daddy. Shimmy. Daddy, is that jacket made out of South African leopard ass? What it look like? Beep. Mommy, is that jacket made out of Antarctic polar bear puss? It was shaved. It wasn't tortured. Okay, well, I got another case. Your friend Goodman hit a kid with his Lamborghini, so I gotta go try to save him. The kid? No. Oh, baby, let's put it in the safe. <laughs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Mr. Goodman, who is being accused of running over a child in his Lamborghini and driving away. The mother saw the Lamborghini hit him, so, mother, tell us what happened. <laughs> My boy was drawing with his chalk in the road, and this rich guy in a Lamborghini ran him over, and he didn't even try to stop. Miss 
Mr. Goodman, is this awful accusation true? You didn't even try to stop? Well, Your Honor, I was getting roadhead from this 10 out of 10 baddie. I was in a throat trance, so I wasn't even paying attention while I was driving. Hmm, so you were distracted while driving and killed a little boy. Well, it sounds like you're guilty. Unless your lawyer can get you out of this mess. Well, Your Honor, to be fair, you weren't fucking there. You didn't see what happened, and neither did I. The boy's mom could be lying. She probably wasn't even there. So how can you judge what happened if you weren't there? Hmm, that's true. I wasn't there. Everything could be a lie. Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't. Mr. Goodman, you are not guilty of vehicular manslaughter in Hit and Run. What? No! He killed my little boy! This is not justice! <laughs> Thank God! I'm gonna celebrate by getting more roadhead! Thank you, Jeffy. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Marvin, your son's a genius. He won my case. I got sucked off on the way here. I'm gonna get sucked off on the way home. Mr. Goodman, do they have any mouthwash? Get back in the car, chinchilla. Okay. And Marvin, I'm taking this 10,000 for your house payment this month. It doesn't matter. Jeffy, print money. He a money print machine. Beep. Well, buddy, I actually don't want to be a lawyer anymore. What, what do you mean, Jeffy? I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I don't like it. You don't like making cash green guap, cash green guapo? I don't like it. Marvin, if Jeffy doesn't want to be a lawyer, he doesn't have to be a lawyer anymore. Put the cash in the green in the bib. Marvin, we had enough. <sighs> babu, bap, bap, babu. Marvin, I'm so excited to go to the club tonight. Look! I'll try to get jiggy with it. What's wrong, Marvin? I hate going to the club because guys are going to talk to you and then I'm going to get upset. Guys aren't going to talk to me, Marvin. Why can't we just stay home? Hey, Marvin, what's up? Yeah, we've been pre-gaming in the car on the way over here, so you're going to have to be the DD. The DD? The designated driver, duh. Oh my god, I love your outfit. Thank you, I love yours. Marvin, what the fuck are you wearing? A suit. Why are you wearing a suit? We're going to the club. You're not going on trial. You're not holding a press conference. I thought it looked nice. No, you look like her dad, especially because she's dressed like a child on her way to church. Pointy, cut it out! No, that's fine. If they want to be embarrassed, let them be embarrassed. What am I supposed to wear? This drip swag, you know? I look like I have chlamydia. You look like a goob. Hey, Daddy, where are you guys going? We're going to the club. Ooh, can I go? No, it's for adults only. Well, I'm 19. Yeah, sorry, kid. It's 21 and up. But you're a cop. Can't you sneak me in? No, because then it would be a total sausage fest. More for me and you, right, Marvin? We're married. Yeah, sure we are, buddy. Okay, everybody, to the club! Let's go! Okay, fine! I'm gonna start my own club, and none of you will be allowed in it! Oh man, Marvin, this club is lit. It sure is. Oh my god, I love this song! Me too! Okay, Marvin, now that the girls are distracted, let me know if you see any hot babes. I think I see one over there. Ooh, good eye, Marvin, good eye. Now call Batman, because the Rizzler's here. Hey, Brad, come dance over here with me, bro. Okay. Hey, ma'am, I don't like to watch sunsets, but I'd like to watch you go down on me. What? If I flipped a coin, what are the odds I'd get head? Huh? Uh, I'm in college, and normally in class, I try to get an A, but with you, I'd like to F. What? Hey, I lost my keys. I think they're in your panties. Can I look in your panties? Brad, he's trying to get in my panties. Hey, you hitting on my girl? Bro, yeah, so what if I am? Do something. No, guys, don't fight. Oh, my boy Marvin's here. He's gonna kick your ass. No, I'm not. You wanna fight, bro? I don't wanna fight. Oh, yeah, he wants to fight. Marvin called you a pussy, and he said your breath smells like cat shit. Don't talk about my breath. <laughs> Marvin! I think we should leave. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you doing to the playroom? <laughs> well, my mommy and daddy went to a club, and they said that I couldn't go, so I'm starting my own club, and it's going to be called Club Jeffy. No adults allowed. Aren't you 19? Yeah, but I'm going to be the only adult allowed here. Kind of weird, dude, but we're not going to judge. So what's all this stuff? Well, I got disco balls, a disco penis, and a bubble machine, because hoes love bubbles. Hoes do love bubbles. Everyone in the world's going to want to come here. Well, hopefully not too many people. I mean, we're going to have to get the fire marshal in here to see what the capacity of this place is. Otherwise, it's a fire hazard. Dude, you should not be allowed in here. What? Safety first. So we can invite all the people we want? Yeah, invite everybody! Let's go invite everyone! Woo! I'm gonna invite the fire marshal. <laughs> 
Hey, Jeffy, I brought my girlfriend Penelope. Hey. Sweet. You like my sign? That's a pretty nice sign, Jeffy. Hey, guys, I brought the fire marshal. Top of the morning to you. Wait, Cody, no, it don't you allow. But he needs to make sure the room is up to code or it could be a fire hazard. No, Cody, he's not allowed in there. Come on, you can come in. What? No, he can't go in there. Oh, this club's pretty fucking sweet. Wait, is that a bubble machine? <sighs> Jeffy, what are we going to do about that? We need security. Yeah, we got to hire security to make sure no adults come in there. We got to hire someone really scary that'll beat them up. <gasps> I know just the guy. Junior, why did you call me? I hate you. Well, we were wondering if you would be the security at the new club that we just opened. Why would I be security for you nerds at your nerd club? Yeah, I don't want bully in my club. Well, Jeffy, if we hire him, he'll never be allowed in the club. He'll work outside the club. He'll never be able to come in. Oh, good thinking, Junior. Yeah, we were going to pay you $100. What? Yeah, yeah, okay, for money, I'll do it. Okay, good, you're hired. So here's what it is. No adults allowed. So ask for IDs, and if anyone shows you an ID, you make sure they don't get in, because no adults are allowed. Okay, got it. Also, there's an adult in there right now. I need you to grab them and throw them out. Okay, yeah. So what's the capacity? I'd say about 25 people. That's it? Yeah, it's a playroom on the second story of our house. All right, old geezer, time to go. What, excuse me, young man? You can't talk to your elders that way. Time to bounce. <laughs> Let me go and stay out. See, Jeffy, I told you we hired the right person. Yeah, good idea, Junior. So, Bully, I made a list of all the people that are allowed inside the club. If there's a check mark, that means they're already here. Okay, cool. All right, so only let the people in this list in. Okay. All right, so let's go. Woo! Woo! This is the greatest club ever! Okay, bro, you can step aside, PJ's here. I'm sorry, what was your name? <laughs> Ladies, you hear that? What the fuck? His name? PJ Crenshaw. Jamie James Crenshaw. Pair with Jamie's Crenshaw. I'm sorry, I don't see any of those names on the list. <gasps> PJ's not on the list? Now, ladies, calm down. I'm sure there's just been some kind of misunderstanding because PJ is on every list. Yeah, well, you're not on this list. Oh my God, PJ's not on the list. No, much you leave? Listen, bro, if you don't let me into this club right now, no girl is ever going to come here ever again. No, I understand that, but I have very strict instructions not to let anybody in unless they're on the list. Like, those girls can come in, but not you. Yay! Yeah, well, well, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> <laughs> go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy! Go Jeffy. Go Jeffy. Did you guys hear PJ Crenshaw crying? Yeah, dude. Hold on, let me go see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? This guy said I'm not allowed in your club because I'm not on the list. What the heck, bully? Of course you're allowed in, PJ. Uh, yeah, th thanks, bro. Hey, man, you're really lucky he showed up when he did. I was about to F you up. Come on, girls. What the heck was that about bully? You didn't let PJ in? You said only to let people in if their name is on the list and his name was not on the list. But PJ Crenshaw is the coolest kid in the world. Of course he's allowed in. Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh my God. If you wouldn't have let PJ in, then he would have told every girl in the world not to come to this club and the club would have closed down and went bankrupt. Went bankrupt? Am I supposed to be charging people money to come in here? Yeah, it's just supposed to be charging guys $20 to get in. You never told me that. Oh my God. So you're telling me a lot of people are in there for free? Yeah. Okay. How about you charge a leaving fee? They can't leave until you give them, until they give you $20. Okay. Fine. All right, so make sure you let the cool people in. The cool people. Okay. This party's cool, huh? Yeah. Hey, can you watch my drink? I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Junior. Junior. What? I think we got a situation. What is it? I just saw Patrick dump a bunch of sour Skittles into a girl's drink. He did what? Yeah, look at him. What's he trying to do? I think he's trying to see her sour face, Junior. Or he's trying to get her to taste his rainbow. You gotta let Jeffy know. Okay. Hey, Jeffy, we got a problem. One. Well, kick his ass out! Club Jeffy is a safe space for girls! And so is my face! Bully, get over here! Okay, Bully, he's right here. All right, man, come on, your night's over. What are you talking about? Nobody's gonna be spiking girls' drinks at this club. Oh, come on, man, it was just how we skittles. Nope, come on, you're going out of here. No! No, I'm not going! No, come on, man, don't make my job harder. No! Embarrassing yourself. Pull your pants off. Get him out of here. Ugh, get out of here. Fuck you. Uh, hey, my name's Chef Pee Pee. I'm supposed to be catering this club. I got a pizza. Oh, man. You look way too old for me to let you in here. How old are you? Come on. I know your parents told you not to ask a lady her age. Sorry. I can't let you in here, man. What? I'm supposed to be delivering this pizza. You gotta let me in. Well, you could give me the pizza and I'll deliver it. Well, how do I get paid, dumbass? Uh, well, you could ask my boss. Well, where's your boss? He's inside. Well, let me in. How am I supposed to get paid if I can't go in? Sorry. I can't let you in. Oh, well, nobody's getting this pizza then. Hey, Bully, did Chef Pee Pee come with the pizza? Yeah, yeah, he came, but he was too old for me to let him in. What? You didn't let Chef Pee Pee in with the pizza? Everyone's hungry. Well, no, because he's an adult, and you said no adults allowed. Oh, Chef Pee 
creepy could come in for a second to drop off a pizza. Well, you didn't tell me that. The sign says no adults allowed, not no adults allowed except for pizza men. <sighs> you should know this. Oh, okay, you know what? If you ever have a question, just ask me and I'll come give you an answer. Okay. Did anyone else try to come in that you didn't let in? Well, there was this one guy who pulled up with ten hoes and a Dooney van, and he called himself the Coochie Man, but I didn't let him in, so he went back to Coochie Land. You didn't let the Coochie Man in? No, no, he didn't want to pay the $20 to come in, and his hoes didn't want to go in without him. If a guy pulls up with ten hoes and a Dooney van, you let him in, because that's ten hoes! Ugh, there's so many rules you didn't tell me. Okay, listen, if you ever have a question, you just ask me, and if I don't know an answer, I'll ask Jeffy. Okay. <sighs> Ow. Marvin, I can't believe that man randomly punched you in the face! Yeah, so so random. Yeah, why'd he do that, Marvin? I don't know, maybe because you said I said his breath smelled like cat shit. Well, his breath did smell like cat shit, and besides, you're the one who was flirting with his girl. Well, no, I wasn't. Marvin, what? You were worried about me talking to guys, and you were over there talking to girls? I wasn't talking to any girls. He was. No. Yeah, huh? Nope. Yeah, yeah, you were. Never. You said you wanted to get head. No, no, I was talking about a coin flip, Marvin. Actually, I should have said, what are the chances I get head or tail? Then I went either way. Oh, that would have been good. I should have said that. I mean, you should have said that. You know what? Karen and I are going downstairs to bake cookies. You, you hear that loud music? Yeah, it's probably just the tinnitus from how loud the club was. No, it sounds like it's inside the house. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. We should check it out. Okay. Look, Marvin, this is where the music's coming from. Club Jeffy? Is Jeffy in there? Yeah, it's his club. Let me speak to him. No, 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 no. You're way too old. No adults allowed. This is my house and this is my room. I'm allowed in. Yeah, well, it's Jeffy's club and he says no adults allowed. No, I'm allowed in. Back off, man. I'm allowed in. <clears throat> oh, my God. Wow, Marvin, hit in the face twice in one day. Oh, arrest him for punching me. I'm not going to arrest a bouncer for doing his job. He's a kid. He doesn't have a job. Look, let me try to talk to him. Yo, 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 homie, what's up? Shit, number Swiss cheese. Listen, man, you're not allowed in here. Oh, come on. I'll slip you about tree fit if you let me and my friend in there. No, sorry. No adults allowed. Oh, but there's a bubble machine in there. Oh, I'm going to go in there so bad. I hate you. Jeffy! Jeffy! Hey, listen, man, calm down. Jeffy! Hey, quiet. Want to come Oh, oh, the come on. What's up, Barney people? These two geezers want to come in. Oh, hey, Daddy. Yeah, you're not coming in my club. Jeff, you can't start a club in my house. Well, I did, and I'm fucking up some commas. We haven't made any money. Jeffy, you have to let me inside this club since it's inside my house. Oh, uh, one, two, three, don't have to. One, two, three, you do have to. Uh, nah, nah. Don't let him in. <laughs> well, Jeffy, you have to let us in. I said back off, man. Oh, we'll be back, and we're going to find a way in. Come on. Woo! Best party ever. I forgot to charge everybody 20 bucks when you came in, so now I have to charge everyone 20 bucks to leave. Screw that, there's a fire! Yeah! Daddy, there's a fire in my club! A fire? Well, you're a firefighter, go put it out! Well, I mean, I would, but it's no adults allowed. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, there's no adults allowed, so I guess your club's gonna burn down. That's fine, it's your house. But he's right, it is my house! Go put out the fire! But no adults allowed. Go put it out! Okay. All right, kid, move out of the way. I gotta put out that fire. Nope, no adults allowed. Are you fucking kidding me? The room behind you is on fire. No, I take my job very seriously, so you're not coming in. Wh what are you talking about? If I don't put out that fire, this whole house is gonna burn down. Nope, I'm not falling for your tricks. Tricks? Wait, just turn around. Nope, that's the oldest trick in the book. Okay, you know what? You can fucking die. <sighs> Did you put out the fire? No, that guy was an asshole and he wouldn't move. Well, what are you talking about? You didn't put out the fire? No, he wouldn't let me in. What the fire alarm's going off? Go put out the fire. No, no, this is what he wanted. That's fine. He wants to die, I want to die, that works for both of us. Go put out the fucking fire! Officer Guy, get in here! Yes, sir? I have a super secret undercover mission for you. Ooh, I love super secret undercover missions. What is it? Well, there's a Russian gangster in town by the name of Vladimir Putinov. That sounds a lot like Vladimir Putin. But it's not. He's a totally different guy. And he is very dangerous. He's on the FBI's most wanted list for killing a hundred men. Well, were they at least bad guys? No, they just beat him in pool. I'm sorry, did you just say pool like billiards? Yeah, it's his favorite game and he hates losing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go undercover and play him in pool. And while you're playing, you're going to use this pool stick that is secretly a shotgun with one shot in it. And you're going to shoot him. Uh, okay, sir, I have a number of questions. Uh, first of all, what happens when I shoot him and all of his goons, like, tackle me and try to torture me and stuff? Well, that's not gonna happen, because they're not gonna know you're the one who shot him. You're holding a pool stick, not a gun. 
Well, I think it's going to be pretty obvious. I mean, there's going to be smoke coming out of it, and I'm going to have to be pointing my pool stick right at him. And also, I'm the only new guy there. God, you're just overthinking it. Don't worry about it. Also, if we have his location, why don't we just go there and arrest him? Why do I even have to do all this? God damn it, guy. It's going to be cool, okay? We made this pool stick gun, and we're going to use it. Okay, but how do I even know what he looks like? Look, you're going to have an earpiece in your ear, and I can talk you through the whole thing. Okay, send me the address. <laughs> if I get the eight ball, then I win! No, you have to call your pocket! That one. No, you can't shoot there! You have to shoot somewhere else! Yes, I can! I picked that one! Zakaya, do something! No, no, that is cheating! Tell him to move hey! Gah! Zakaya, down, boy! Da. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I win! Oh, yeah? Piece of shit! Holy shit, Vladimir! You even lost all day! Thank you! Now who wants to play next? Hey there, you pussies wanna play some pool? The shit you call me?! Whoa, what's wrong? You afraid of a little competition? I am afraid of nothing. Yeah, apparently. You know what? I think I need to meditate for a second. Okay, take your time. Sir, I am so nervous right now. Guy, the sooner you shoot him, the sooner you can get out of there. Okay, well just tell me which one he is so I can kill him and get the hell out of here. Well, you see the guy in the red jacket? Red jacket, got it. Holy shit! Shot them right in the motherfuck! Guy, did I just hear a gunshot? No, nope, no, nope, that was just me playing pool. Holy shit, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen! You shot him with pool stick! Wait a minute. Why do you have pool stick gun? Uh, well, well that guy in red was, was an undercover cop, so I was just trying to help you out. Zakaya, check him! Duh. He tells truth! Bench in pocket! Holy shit! You walk in with pool stick gun and you could have killed me! But instead, you saved my life! You know I am number one wanted US, right? Really? You don't say? Yeah, FBI want me so bad, I kill over 100 people. 101 today. Oh, congratulations. Da, look by your feet, dead body. Oh, hey there. He can't hear you, he's dead. Vladimir take pool very seriously. Da. Yeah, apparently. Guy, Officer Keebler is responding. Is he still there? Oh, the guy in red. Yeah, I see him. Hey, Keebler! Who the shit are you talking to? Uh, I, I, I think I see my friend Keebler from high school. He makes cookies now. No, this is Russian goon house. No Keebler here. Oh, well, I guess I was mistaken. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go home. No, no, no. You will stay and play a game of pool. I insist. And since you saved my life, if you win, I won't kill you. Maybe. Oh, well, in that case, I guess I'll break. Duh. Now watch. This is how a man breaks. Ugh, thank God I had a bulletproof vest on. Ugh, holy shit, sir! How many bullets did you say were in this thing? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. We put an extra bullet in there in case you missed the first one. Thought you might need it. Holy shit! You knew he had bulletproof vest, and you shot him a second time. That second time today that you could have killed me, but instead you saved my life. Yeah, yeah. Keep reminding me. You know what? I like you. I want to take you out to American fancy cuisine. Denny's, you heard of it? Oh, yeah, Denny's. They open 24 hour. Their grand slam, which delicious. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go to Denny's. Let's go. Welcome to Denny's, greatest American restaurant. Oh, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, there's Applebee's and Red Lobster. The shit you just said! Uh, you know what? I do love Moons Over Miami, though. I do love that. Duh. You know what? I really liking the way the slam burger looking, but I am definitely going to need a moment to look over the menu. Uh, sir, the pool situation didn't work out, so he wanted to go to Denny's, and here we are. But don't worry, I'm gonna try to poison his drink while we're here. Good idea, guys! I have made my decision. I am getting green sandwich. You know, I think I might actually get a Choco Nana Pancake Slam. You are getting green sandwich. I'm getting a grand sandwich. Now where the shit is the waitress? Sorry for the wait, y'all. I'm your waitress, Lakeisha, and welcome to Denny's. Oh, sorry, sir. No shirt, no service. I think you will serve me even without my shirt. Oh, my God! Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. Uh, so what would y'all like to drink? Uh, I think I will get a mellow yellow. I will also have a mellow yellow. Mellow yellow. Three mellow yellows? Okay, uh, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, that be y'all mellow yellow. What y'all want to eat? We will have three grand sandwich. Three grand sandwich? Oh, that's easy. Y'all easy. Oh, I love mellow yellow. Yeah, hey, how about before we drink, we play this fun game called Let's See Who Can Tie Their Shoes the Fastest. Oh, you're on. I have no shoe. Oh, well, okay, I guess in that case, untie one of his shoes and see how fast you can tie that one. Okay. Jesus, okay. Put this in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, done! I tie my shoe in five seconds, the guy tie 
my shoe in six, so who won? Uh, you won! Congratulations! I think we should celebrate by sipping our mellow yellows as fast as we can. Duh, let's do it! Wait, 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 wait. Sukaya, you have much more ice than me. I have none. Trade with me. Oh, boy. No, 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 you don't have to switch drinks. I really like ice because I am anemic. <laughs> oh, I love mellow yellow. Sukaya, how is your mellow yellow? <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, how, how did that happen? That's crazy. I guess his yellow wasn't so mellow. Waitress, get this shit in here! You don't need a yeah, your grand slam, which is almost ready. Waitress, why my brother die after sipping mellow yellow you bring? Oh, he did? Yes! Let me check something. <laughs> why you put cyanide in my brother's drink? It, it was actually arsenic. I don't get no cyanide! Die! Come on, we're leaving. Uh, but what about the Grand Slamwiches? I will go to kitchen, kill this chef, and take the Grand Slamwiches. Let's go! <sighs> so why are we at a strip club? It is the only way for me to get over the death of my brother with titties. I feel gross eating a Grand Slamwich here. Hey, baby, what's your name? Dandelion. Oh, Dandelion. Like my favorite flower. Is that a gun in my pants? Or am I happy to see you? Gar Strip club? What is it, your birthday? Sorry, the fact that you think my birthdays are that fun. No, this whole thing has been a shit show. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Give me lap dance, baby. Okay. Ow, your gun is hurting me. You know what, friend? Grab my gun. R really? Yeah, I trust you. You saved my life like twice today. Uh, okay, great. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Wait, oh, oh, shit. Bro, what this shit? You just shot Dandelion. You know, man, I, I could just tell she was going to break your heart. Bro. This is why I love you. Yeah. Bro, what this shit you are doing? I'm sorry, man. I'm a cop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you got me so good. You must be like the best undercover cop ever. You even shot your partner. Yeah, that was an accident. And my brother. That was also an accident. And the stripper? Yeah, again, an accident. You know what? Go ahead. Do it. I want to be with my brother. Oh, thanks for being so cool about this. Duh. Sorry. Oh, you must be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Are you serious? I forgot! I shot so many times today and forgot to reload! <laughs> okay, you know what? Fuck this. <clears throat> I'm just taking him in. Okay, sir, I have the Russian guy, but he's not dead. He's not dead? Why didn't you kill him? Well, I tried, sir, but six innocent people ended up dying. Six people? Who? Okay, well, let's see. There was a stripper, there was a Denny's chef, a Denny's waitress, uh, his brother, some random Russian pool player guy, and Officer Keebler. Officer Keebler's dead? How? Well, let me tell you the very long story of why it's not my fault. So I pulled up to the Russian mobster house, and they wanted to play pool. And they saw how good I was at pool, because I'm great at it. And then they wanted me and Officer Keebler to be in their district for the Hunger Games. So then they took us to Denny's to get us a lot of food so we'd be full before the Hunger Games. And then they took us to a strip club so we'd get some hose and get our strength up before the big fight. So then they put us in these little tube things, and they raised us up into this big field with all the other district people. And then they said, go. So usually you're supposed to run and grab a bunch of weapons, but I already had my pool stick gun. So me and Officer Keebler just ran into the forest and climbed up a tree and just waited. Then we saw this girl named Cat Piss or something, and she was killing people with her bow and arrow. And oh yeah, she had this boyfriend named Peta. Uh, not Peter, Peta, like how Lois Griffin says Peter. It was weird. A and then Keebler sneezed, so Cat Piss was going to try to shoot us with her bow and arrow. So I shot this bee's nest full of deadly bees with my pool gun, and it fell and hit Peta on the head. So then I shot Cat Piss with my other last bullet from the gun, and she died. So then we just camped until there was one guy left, and Keebler said, Yo, bro, it's 2v1, let's get him. He's definitely a bot, but I didn't have any weapons or mats. All I had was a chug jug. So Officer Keebler runs up on him with confidence and gets his shield taken off, and the guy starts building Empire State Buildings, and Keebler yelled, Bro, he's real, he's real! And then Officer Keebler got sniped. So I was running around, and the guy jumped down and tried to shoot me, but he died from fall damage. So I won the Hunger Games. You won the Hunger Games. That's not what happened. He accidentally shot Officer Keebler with pull stick gun. Brooklyn guy! You know me, I'm a little weasel. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, yeah, you suck! 
You suck at Fortnite. Hey, Jeffy, me and Rose want to watch TV, so stop playing your video game. Hold on, Daddy. Somebody's shooting at me. I got to get the kill. <laughs> Wee! Jeffy incoming! Back to the lobby you go! Jeffy, this game is very violent! Yeah, turn it off, Jeffy! Oh shit, he's shooting at me, Daddy! Hold on! Oh no, oh, no, he took my shield! Oh, I gotta put him in a box! Peekaboo! Good night! <laughs> she, Daddy, I murked these hoes! I mean, Jeffy, you really are good at this game! Marvin, I don't think Jeffy should be playing this! It has guns! Hold on, Daddy, I hear shooting! Sliding that pushy boy! Oh, beam, 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 beam. Oh, you want them too? Ah, ah. Get out of my lobby, bitches! Jeffy, language! Mommy, they suck at the game! I have to let them know! Just wait till I call them the N-word! What? Hold on, Daddy, I see someone! Come here, boy! Oh, come here, boy! Where are you going? Where are you going, boy? Ah, yeah, you can't run from me! All right, Jeffy, that's enough. Turn off the game. But, Daddy, there's only two people left! I have to finish the game to get the dub! Okay, after this game, you're turning it off. All right, last one left. I'm going to make you dance. Yeah, that's right, boy. Yeah, dance for me. Dance for daddy. Yeah, keep dancing. Yeah, you like that? I'm going to show you my favorite dance move. Bah! Yeah, victory! Wait, you won the whole thing? Yeah, daddy, because I'm cracked at this game. You do what, Jeffy? Crack. Have to in order to beat these sweats. All right, Jeffy, turn off the game. We want to watch TV. Oh, come on, daddy. Can I play one more game? I have 212 crowns, and I've been trying to get to 213 all day. How long does one game last? If I start noob tubing. Okay, Jeffy, me and Rose are gonna do something for 20 minutes in the bedroom. 20 minutes? Maybe if we take a nap. We'll be right back, so you better be done in 20 minutes. Alright, get ready up on your toes. Alright, Jeffy, it's been 20 minutes. Time to get off the game. Hold on, Daddy! I've been sucking all game. I haven't gotten a single kill, but I'm still in the top two. I just don't know where each other guy is. Oh, babe, babe, what's happening? I'm getting shot at Daddy! Hold on! What are you gonna do? I'm about to crack 90s on these hoes! What's crack 90s mean? It's where you Go to your room. No, I hate this game! Ah! Jeffy, go to your room. I'm gonna go destroy my room! Ah! You're only gonna be hurting yourself. Ah! 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 I hate you, cheap clapper! One, two, three, three! Ah! Jeffy sounds really upset, Marvin. Over a video game, he'll get over it. And like you said, he shouldn't be playing violent video games like that anyway. Marvin, look the news! is holding a competition tonight at the convention set. 100 players will all play together, and the last player standing will win $1 million. $1 million? We have to interject in that competition. What? Marvin, you just agreed he shouldn't be playing that video game. It's too violent. But Jeffy's really good at Fortnite. He, he was cranking 90s. You don't even know what that means. It means he's cracked at the game. That's what that means. So I'm going to go interject in the competition because we're going to win a million dollars. Hey, Jeffy, how about you come back to the couch and play some more Fortnite? Well, Danny, after a long, thorough, cold conversation with myself, I've decided I'm never playing Fortnite ever again. Why not? Because all it does is make me mad and brings out the worst in me. I picked up a more mature game, a man's game. I'm going to be the Grand Wizard of Chess. Chess? Yep, just as soon as I figure out how to play it. Now, you see, Daddy, chess is a lot harder than checkers because in chess, you get to move on all the spaces. Listen, Jeffy, there's a competition in Fortnite, and you win a million dollars, so you're going to win. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but I've given up Fortnite forever. <sighs> okay, I guess Cheat Clubber 1233 is always going to be better than you. He's not better than me, he just has Buggy Bonds! Well, I'm going to go watch Cheat Clubber 1233 win this competition. Maybe I'll adopt him. Okay, fine, Daddy, I'll play Fortnite, come on! Okay, Jeffy, we're here at the Fortnite competition, but I guess we're the first ones here. Ladies and gentlemen, please calm down. The champion has a win. Jeffy, it looks like that guy's good at Fortnite. Well, I ask him if he's good. Are you good at Fortnite? <laughs> Are you freaking serious right now? He just asked me if I'm good at Fortnite. Abby, am I good at Fortnite? Pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm pretty cracked, bro. I will literally quitty on you, IOL, right now. Well, I 
guess he's pretty good, Jeffy. Well, ask him how many crowns he has. How many crowns you have? 617. Is that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a lot of crowns? Yeah. Is that a lot of crowns? Jeffy can play sometime. What's your username? My username is Cheat Clapper One Two Flee Flee. Cheat Clapper One Two Three Three. You fucking bought me and killed me. No freaking way. That was you, ladies. This is the guy that I made do the boogie boogie and then shotgun in the face. <laughs> Everyone's too scared to play against Zakatan. I don't want to play him either. He's so good. So it seems to me like you have two options. You can either win and protect your booty cheeks from being crapped. Or you can play against me and be humiliated when I pull your pants down and literally proceed to crap your cheeks in front of the whole nation in full cut. I'm not backing down. I want my revenge. Are you freaking serious right now? You want to get your cheeks crapped that bad? down for me to make it easier. You're not gonna clap my cheeks, I'm gonna clap your cheeks! <laughs> yeah, what? Your funeral. Ladies, let's go grab some more loot. You know I hate dry cheeks. Don't worry, Jeffy. I think you can beat them. I'm gonna try, gang. Hello and welcome to the Fortnite Battle Competition. We only have two competitors today, but the winner gets one million dollars. Prepare to pray! Bad news, Jeffy. I couldn't find any loot. So it looks like I'm gonna have to rub the I'm never poop properly. I'm constipated as shit. Come on, Jeffy, you gotta win. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm gonna use my taco skin. You're totally gonna win, Zach. Please, away from the TV. Please. I need me some mad cheeks to do. Okay, let the match begin. I see you trying to hide behind that tree. Well, seriously, you don't put on my shield. I gotta build up and get the hide from like Obi-Wan Kenobi, make a rain bullet. Whoa, stop playing 90s and learn to play the game. I do know how to play the game. Watch you learn how to play the game and get good, kid. Match my height. Well, you'll literally trash. I'm trash. You're the one that's hiding. Come out and fight me. I'm not hiding. I want to took your shield. Well, you're so booty cheeks in the game. My grandma does literally bet on you. Oh, really? Then why don't you build up to me then? Fight me like a man. Well, I'm trying, but you're building a last state building. Take this buggy ball. Well, stop it. Dance for me. Are you serious? Stand for daddy. I don't want to. Stop it. You like that boogie ball? How does it feel? Seriously, knock it off. Yeah, can't take that again. Please stop. Sayonara, Please. bitch. Ladies, come freaking on. It was only one game. You know I'm more cracked. Jeffy, you're so cracked at Fortnite. Come on, ladies. You're coming with me. Ladies, come on. Ladies, don't we? Ladies! Jeffy, I can't believe you won a million dollars. I know, Danny. Let's go to the bank and cash a check right now. Well, it's nighttime right now, Jeffy. All the banks are closed. We're going to have to wait till tomorrow. You're so rich, Jeffy. Pay for my transition, sir. Wait a minute, it's an exact attack on the chip. That's because they're used to writing the checks to me because I always win. Wait, how'd you get here? Your friend is unlocked. Why are you here? I want my lady's baby. You don't want to deal with Zach, you're not cracked at all. I am so wet, I only lost one game. Well, listen, they made a mistake and they put your name on the check. So, I want you to endorse this check to Jeffy. You want me to endorse that check to Jeffy? Yeah, endorse this check to Jeffy and then you can get your ladies back. Look, I have a million dollars! Let's go! What? Hey, you can't do that! Let's see whose name is on this chip. Zen Attack. Suck my balls from the pig! Hey, wait! You just stole that chip! I'm gonna call the cops! Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, someone stole my son's million dollar chip! Oh, somebody stole a million dollar chip with your son's name on it? No, it doesn't have my son's name on it. Well, whose name is on the chip? The guy who stole it. It sounds like it was me, that guy's chip. No, it's not meant for him. It was meant for my son. The people who gave us the check put the guy who stole its name on it. 
Why would they do that unless it's a check? Well, the guy who stole it usually gets these checks, but this time my son gets the check, and they accidentally put the guy's name who stole his name on it, but it's meant for my son. It really sounds like the killer. No, 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 no. If you go track the guy down, you can grab the check. It has his name on it, but it's, he'll tell you. He's going to tell you it's for him, but it's not. It's for me. It, it, the more you talk, the more it sounds like it's for me. No, no, listen, the, the money was for my son, because my son beat the guy who stole it in a competition to win that check, and they say that he always wins, and they usually put his name on the check, and they put his name on it. So my son's name was supposed to be on it, and we were going to get it fixed, but the guy took the check because his name was on it. No, I, I promise you, he stole it. It, it wasn't meant for him. Uh -huh. No, it was meant for my son. Uh -huh. No, no, there's a million, there's a big, there's a million dollar mistake. I know, I know, buddy. Baby, I was wiping Jeffy. And it was a stinky one. Marvin, he's 19 years old. He can wipe his own butt. You would think so, but I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes after I wipe my butt, I just smack it to the wall. And then other times I stick so much toilet paper in my butt crack, I look like a peacock. See, that's why I had to wipe him. Wait, what's all this stuff? I went Halloween costume shopping. Halloween's not for two more weeks. I know, Marvin, but I had to get costumes before they sold out. Look, I got Jeffy a ducky costume. A Ninja Turtle costume. What's up, my ninjas? Jeffy, don't say that. I got a Cookie Monster costume and a piglet. Oh, piglet all day. I'm going to go try this baby on. You're not going to put that on before bed. Yes, before bed. Marvin, look, I also got this Chucky doll. Why would you get a Chucky doll? Because it's cool and it talks. Press the button. <sighs> I'll kill you. I'll slaughter your whole family. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah, so fun. He has over 25 different catchphrases. Press it again. Okay. I'm going to kill you, you bald piece of shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. How would he know I'm bald? I don't know, Marvin. It's just technology. Well, no, he only has 25 catchphrases. What are the odds that one of them is about a bald person? Press it again. <gasps> he just said press it again. Yeah, Marvin, it's probably on demo mode. Press it. I'm not on demo mode, and I'm not a toy. Open this box so I can kill you. <laughs> he just said he's not on demo mode. I, I think this doll is possessed. Marvin, you're crazy. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Breaking news! The toy company is saying that their toys are possessed. We have a press conference with a police officer now. Hey there, officer guy here. Uh, so we've been informed by the toy manufacturer that some of the toys they produce are going to become possessed on Friday the 13th, which is right now, because it's past midnight. So be on the lookout for killer toys. Uh, we have reports of 15 murders so far, like we got a Mr. Potato Head that's been killing people. we got some hungry, hungry hippos that have taken a few kids' fingers off. So if you have a possessed toy in your house, put them in a box and return them to the store for a full refund. Baby, look! The news said the toys are possessed. That doll is possessed. No, he's not, Marvin. You're being silly. Then why would the news say that? Because it was probably a Friday the 13th full stage joke. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Danny, check the fit. Piggy is fuck. Jeffy. Oink, oink is fuck. Jeffy. Where's Winnie the shit? Jeffy, it's Winnie the Pooh and stop cussing so much. Well, stop being bald so much. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. Baby, he just said ha ha, good one. I know that's not one of his 25 catchphrases. Marvin, it's just motion activated. Yeah, let's say that. This doll is possessed, baby. I think we should take it out of the box. Please. No! Daddy, where's Tigger? Tigger. It's more soft. Jeffy, don't say that. Not if my piggy costume is gone. Poopa. The bigger the poopa, the tastier the chalupa. Go to bed, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I'm actually going to run down to the market and have some roast beef. And then I'm going to wee, wee, wee all my pants. No, Jeffy, I just changed you. No, we're not opening this box. I'm going to take this box to the kitchen so no one opens it. All right, Chucky, you're gonna stay right here. Come on, man. We're Chef Pee Pee, what are you cooking? Chicken Alfredo with red food covering so it looks like guts because it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> looks yummy. Ah, oh, big scary ass dog. No, no, this doll is possessed. There's no way that doll's possessed. He knows how to compliment some food. Whatever you do, do not open up this box. Whatever, whatever. Leave me alone so I can cook. Come on, man, I'm real hungry. Just open the box. We well, did compliment your boy's cooking, so I guess I could open it for a little bit, not too long. But you gotta go back in. Okay. This is some good chicken Alfredo, Chef Pee Thank you. Finally, damn. Somebody say that shit. Hey, can you pass the pepper? Oh, yeah. I know my buddy needs some pepper. Put some pepper in your stuff. Here you go. Here you go, my bad. <laughs> you know, Chef Pee Pee, you're a cool dude. Yeah, yeah. You too, Chucky. But tell me something. What the hell happened to your face, man? Oh, 
Well, I died in a toy store during a shootout with the police. Ah, uh, shit, it happens, yeah. Yeah, yeah so now my soul is trapped in this doll. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. But personal question, does your dick still work? Oh, yeah, they made a whole movie about it. Oh, that's great, man, that's great. But tell me, uh, what are your personal hobbies, man? What do you like to do? I like to kill people. Look. Oh man, it's always the white boys and the gingers. <laughs> but tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? Uh, what don't I do? I cook, I clean, uh, I slave. Man, I just wish everybody would die. I can help you with that. Oh man, nice joke, Chucky, but I know you're just joking. I'm not joking. I'll kill everybody. Uh, I think it's time to get back in the box before Marvin gets mad. No, nope, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh God! Not Marvin's gonna be mad at me! Marvin, I can't believe you took my Chucky doll from me. He's possessed. No, he's not, Marvin. You're just paranoid. He's supposed to say scary things. Hey, you want to die? Wow, I didn't know he could walk. He can't. Is that a real knife? Yeah, you want to feel it. Look, Marvin, he's actually stabbing me. Is that real blood? Yeah, no, hold still. <laughs> this is so fun. Marvin, look, I'm actually bleeding. I think I might die. <laughs> You're next. Chippy! Chippy! You ever heard of knocking, Daddy? Me and Peppa Pig were about to pork. We were gonna do it piggy style. And I was gonna take the dirt road home because the Red River was flowing. Chippy, call 911. That doll's trying to kill me. I'm on it, Daddy. Let me grab my phone. Alright. 911. I think I'm on hold. That's not a real phone, Chippy! Yes, it is. Why is the cord plugged in? Oh, fuck. Chippy, use your other phone! Okay. Alright, Daddy, I got my phone. Hurry up and call 911. Alright. A at the N.A. What the hell was that? It's Duolingo. Learn to speak Mexican. Whoa, Chippy, no call 911. What's your number? Give me the phone. Come on, please answer, please answer. 911, what's your emergency? Who's it called? Well, wait a minute. You sound like the cop from the news. Yeah, I don't want the fame to go to my head, but yeah, I was on TV. So that means you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. So, there's this crazy toy. Oh, it, this is about to kill a toy. Yeah, 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 there's this toy, and it killed my wife. Oh, it killed your wife? Well, in that case, maybe you should send him to my house. He'd be doing me a big favor. <laughs> Please. No, I need you to come over. Well, if you just put him back in the box, he'll get your refund. No, 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 I just need you to come over and help me. So you don't want the refund. Most people are calling about the refund. I don't give a shit about the refund! It's trying to kill me and I want you to stop it from killing me! Okay, oh, I think I see what's going on. You want me to come over and help you? Yes! Yeah, see, the problem is that sounds scary. Well, it's your job to help me! Yeah, here's my job. Alright, whatever, I'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Hey, Danny, I don't hear the guy at the door anymore. I think he left. Let me go check. I don't want to open up the door in case he's still there. Let me check under the door. See if I can see him. No, I don't see him. Hey there. Ah! Oh, I know it's here for days. <laughs> what, Jeff, you're still doing doing Lego? We're trapped in this room and we can't get out. Wonder how much is Kabar for the Bandana in control of Buenos Putas. What'd you just say, Jeffy? Let's escape out the window. <gasps> Good idea. Uh, there's someone at the door. That's probably the cops. But we can't answer it because we're trapped in the room. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Whoa, excited little fella, aren't you? Could you stop brandishing that knife at me, please? Oh yeah, sorry. Anyway, we're the police and we got a call that there was a killer toy here. Oh no, no killer toy here. Oh, that's good. Plus, you just better prank call. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of calls about killer toys tonight. Hey, wait, where's your mommy and daddy? They're dead. Oh, you hear that? Simmons, he's an orphan. Oh, he's never gonna do this. Yeah, there's an ugly orphan. Hey, buddy, what are you doing with that knife? Oh, I was cutting cucumbers. Oh, what are you making, pickles? Makes pickles. Oh yeah, you're right. People usually just buy them. Oh, what happened to your face, buddy? I ran into a door. Was it a door full of scissors? <laughs> Good one, Simmons. Anyway, it's raining. I like to stay off this face. Helps me focus. You're ugly. Simmons thinks you're ugly too. Oh, buddy, you can read my mind. Yeah, anyway, I, I, we're just gonna take off. But if you are a killer toy, could you stop by my house later and help me kill my wife? Will do. Alright, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Does that mean you are a killer toy? Killer toy says what? What? Huh? Gotcha. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, killer toy. Five bucks you run. Double it up in Simmons. Deal. Damn it. Freeze! Okay, ugly, you got your corner. Now just turn yourself in or we'll beat you up and make you even uglier. But I didn't do nothing. Well, he has a point. I can't really prove that he did do nothing. I lied. No, there's a body. A body? Where? See the clue too? Where? On the couch! On the couch? I don't see it! Look down! Look down! There is a dead body! Now let's put these clues 
together. A dead body, a scary guy with a knife, and a 911 call about a dead wife. You did kill her. Oh man, you guys caught me. Okay, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I always take the hard way. Simmons, the box. Hold it. Gotcha. We got him the easy way. <laughs> okay, Marvin, you can come out. We got him. Are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. He's dead? Oh no, he's not dead. Even better. We put him back in the box and we return him for a refund. Wait, he's still alive? So he can escape and come and kill me? No, he's not gonna escape. That box is closed. And you got a refund? Oh yeah, we didn't even need a receipt. It's free return within 14 days. Well, can I have that dollars? Hell no! You didn't even want the refund for that one. You made me come and deal with him. Oh, well, my wife is still dead. Can you try to revive her? I guess I'll put my doctor out for now. Yeah, it wasn't easy bringing somebody back to life when they've been dead for five-ish minutes, but I did it. And she might have some permanent brain damage from the lack of oxygen, but other than that, she'll be okay. It's fine. She's not the only person I know that has brain damage. Hey, Dave, I frosted Peppa Pig's turds. Put the pink in her booty hole brown. I just want to go and lay in the grass, get bit by ants. Cody, that was weird. Like, uh, like, he's homeless. Like, why would he want to go home? Like, he had no home to go to. Well, we went to his house at one time. Yeah, would you want to go there? No, no, I never want to go there again. Yeah, like, that's just really weird that Joseph wants to go home. Like, he loves staying here. There's air conditioning and food. Like, that's just really weird that he wanted to go home, like, really bad. Yeah, that's a good point. He has nowhere to go. I, I think I'm going to go follow him. Okay. Yeah, you want to come with me? No, no, that's weird. I, I think I'll just stay here in your house while you're not here. Okay, I'm gonna go follow him. I'll let you know what happens. Okay. What? What's in here? <laughs> Where am I? Hi! Where's my towel? Towel, sir. Oh, it's so long. Wait, the towel isn't even heated. All right, sir. I'm sorry. I'll fetch you another. Oh, don't even worry about it, Ty. I'll just air dry like a poor person. What? God. Joseph? Wait, Joseph, what are you doing here, dude? Well, I followed you. I went inside the bush and I came out that slide. What? What? <gasps> Joseph, what is this place? Uh, it's all in imagination, dude. You're dreaming. Wake up! I'm not dreaming, Joseph. I followed you. I jumped in the same bush you did, and I showed up here in this pool. What is this place? Wait, why did you follow me, dude? I want to know where you always went, because why would you want to go home if you're poor? But it looks like you're not poor. What's going on? Oh, I guess you found me out. Look, just follow me to one of my rooms, and I'll explain. Okay. All right, dude. This is one of my favorite rooms. Whoa, you have a Pac-Man room? Yeah, dude. It's not that big of a deal. Calm down. Joseph, you said you were poor. What's going on? Yeah, remember how I told you my mom won the lottery and abandoned me? Yeah. Well, she did. Kind of. She won a hundred million dollars and then bought me a house with a private butler. Well, then where's your mom? I don't know. I don't keep up with that woman. Every time I call her, she just saves me money. She's probably traveling the world in Fiji or maybe in France. You know, show me some love, right? Well, Joseph, why would you lie to me and say you're poor? You could have told us you were rich. Because you guys will look at me as a cool friend and then will only like me for my money and then will come to my house and touch my stuff. I don't like it when people touch my stuff. And I'm pretty humble. Here's your water, sir. Ew, it's a hot time. Oh, that's gas station water. Get me smart water. I like smart water. Very well, sir. Come on, time. You're the fifth one. You're expendable. Here's your smart water, sir. <sighs> that's more like it. Roll temperature! That's how you like it, sir. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I wanted boiling water. Boiling water, sir? Yes. But boiling water would burn your mouth, sir. Don't worry about my boiling water. Don't ask me about what I need. Oh. Very well, sir. Boiling water it is. I'm going to call my mom and get you fire ties. He's getting old, dude. Oh, Joseph, can I see the rest of your house? It's so cool. Oh, I guess so, dude. Just don't get a hard one. All right, dude, this is my game room, and this is my pool table. Whoa, you have a pool table? Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah! 
Dang it! What was wrong, Joseph? I had it perfectly aligned, and you just had it tucked in. Now it's ruined, and I have to sell it. Well, you're the seller. I do. You got your germs on it. I'm a germaphobe, so I didn't want you coming here. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Joseph. Oh, it's fine, but it's not fine, but it's fine. Here's your boiling water, sir. Oh, thank you, Chimes. <laughs> Yeah, he tried to stop you. Oh, just give me a band-aid yet, Ty. I'm sorry, sir, but what will a band-aid do for the inside of your mouth? The point that me, just give me a band-aid. And meet me in the operation room. You literally just told me to stop you from doing dumb stuff, sir. Just give me a band-aid and don't talk back, Ty. Kill me. Operation room. All right, dude. This is the operation room. I come in here every time I get a boo boo. Whoa, this is so cool, Joseph. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try to get the wishbone out. Oh man! I can get it every time I get the shot. Here's your band aid, sir. It's not open, Ty. Stupid, it, stupid. It. Ow, sir. Get it together, Ty. Very well, sir. Oh, Joseph, you should be nice to your butler. Maybe he should be more smart. Here's your band aid, sir. Thank you, Ty. Now try to get the frog out of the guy's throat. Besides, you're gonna get punched. Do I absolutely have to, sir? Yes, you do! Very well. Oh, you got it, Joseph. Oh, you got it, Joseph. Suck my butt, sir. Wow, what's wrong with you? I can't even begin to fathom what could possibly 
be wrong now, sir. I'll give you a hint. Where's the freak fries? Fried, sir? Yes, you can't eat a burger without fries. You didn't ask for any fries, sir. Wait, wait, what was that? Say it in my good ear, because it sounds like you're talking back. You didn't ask for any fries, sir. Jail! You know what? Go to jail! I'm not going to there. Oh, yes, you are. For talking back to me, Todd. Now go in the jail for 30 minutes. You want to know how I feel about you, sir. Wait, wait, explain how you feel then. Show me how you feel. Oh. Show me how the room does this to you. Come on. Alright, dude. This is the laser tag room. That's so cool. You love laser tag room. I know, dude. I sleep in here sometimes. And if I ever get a girl in here, I'm going to try to do stuff without touching the laser. But that's so awesome. I want to try to touch the laser. Wait, no, don't do it. I'm talking about to touch the laser, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, I want to prove that. Chives! Chives! Where's Chives? You sent him to jail, remember? Oh, gosh. Let's go get him out. Cause I got locked up, they won't let me out. Are you singing Akon again, Chives? Yes, sir. I called your name so many times, and you didn't answer. Because you sent me to jail for an hour, sir. Well, get your bald 80-year-old butt out of there and give me some fruit by the foot. Very well, sir. All right, dude. This is my Vegas room. I come in here to gamble all my money on me. That's so cool. I love how red it is. Oh, yeah, me too, dude. Here's your fruit by the meter, sir. I took the liberty of unwrapping it for you. Now, would you like me to eat it for you as well, sir? No, I think you're just trying to be a smart butt. No, sir. I'm just trying to cover all my bases before I wind up in closet prison again. Give me my candy. It's so good, dude. I love it. <laughs> I'm choking! I'm choking! I hope you choked to death, you disgusting little turd! I was faking it! I wasn't really choking! I wanted to see if you would save me! And you did it! And so get fired! I'm free! I'm finally free! But you really just fired Chives? Yeah, I can get another one like tomorrow, dude! I'm gonna call my mom! Okay? Joseph, are you really calling your mom? Yeah, she answers. Hello, Joseph. Mommy's getting her nose job right now. Oh, hey, Mommy. I had a fire time. Why, Joseph? Because he doesn't listen. Well, you can't keep firing your brothers, Joseph. They're very really hard to find. Well, maybe if you came home and took care of your son like a real mom, I wouldn't have to hire a butler. Okay, Joseph, how much money do you want? 50000 Okay, baby, I transfer it to your account. Okay, fine. Alright, mommy's gotta go because the anesthesia is kicking in. Love you, bye! What'd she say? I don't know, I hate that woman. Oh, I really love your house, Joseph. Yeah, but it's not an easy life to live, dude. I think you should go home. Okay, well, I promise I won't tell Cody, I won't tell Shepardy, I won't tell anyone about this. Oh, don't worry about it, dude. Look into this for me. Okay. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, Junior, whatever you want to do. You know what, guys? I am so poor. I am the poorest person here, and no one will ever be as poor as me. We, we understand, Joseph. We understand you're poor. Yeah, we get it. Stop bragging. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're poor. We get it. Just making sure everything's back to normal. Accepted. I just, uh, we need to get you something to eat. If you want McDonald's? Yeah. All right, let's all go to McDonald's. You don't talk to Rosalina like that ever again, though. Thank you for continuing McDonald's. You can still have everything ready. Uh, just one second. 
Nothing, please. Uh, what do you want? Nothing, thank you. Um, what do you want? Mm. What, Jeffy? Mm. Get back in your seat, Jeffy. No. Uh, what do you want? Chicken nugget. Uh, can I get chicken nugget? No, fuck that, Daddy. I want roast beef. They don't have roast beef, Jeffy. What do you want? Oh, fuck. Jeffy, what do you want? Uh, pizza. Uh, get the pizza, Jeffy. They don't have pizza. They have chicken nuggets or cheeseburger. What do you want? I don't want that shit, Daddy. I'm not eating it. I want a milkshake. You don't get a milkshake. Can I get chicken nuggets? No, I don't want chicken nuggets. I'm not gonna eat no shit, Daddy. What? I don't want a milkshake. You don't, you don't, I don't want it. Oh, my daddy's a whore. Can I get chicken nuggets, please? Oh, Jimmy, that was absolutely ridiculous. Guys, I did not want chicken nuggets. I'm not eating this shit, man. Jimmy, I want a roast beef. Then it's not roast beef, Jimmy. Just eat your chicken nuggets. No, Daddy, fuck this. I do not want chicken nuggets. Jimmy, just eat your chicken nuggets. I don't want to eat chicken nuggets, Daddy. Jimmy, shut up and eat your chicken nuggets. Jimmy, please eat your chicken nuggets. No, fuck that, Mommy. I don't want your chicken nuggets. Jimmy, what? Look out! Look out! I think it's fucking broken! My back! I can't fucking move! I think I'm fucking paralyzed! I'm so fucked! Get the dog to life! I can't fucking get out of here! I'm so fucked! Are, are you okay, sir? No! My neck is fucking broken! I think I'm fucking paralyzed! I'm so fucked! I, I barely tapped you, though. I need your fucking insurance information! Uh, oh. I, 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 don't, I don't have car insurance. You don't have car insurance? No. You are so fucked! You are so- I'm gonna take everything you fucking own! I can't fucking move! I'm you, fucking paralyzed! You can- you can move it- you can move fine! I can't move fuck! I'm so fucked! Okay. I'm taking everything you fucking- Can you come inside when you talk about this? You are so fucked! You are so fucked! Come on, we- we- we work something out! You irritated the fuck out of me, Mario! You broke my neck! Well, and you don't even have car insurance! I didn't break your neck! I know it's not! But I'm not gonna pass on a free check! I'm gonna get fucking paid! Cash prize. We can deliver pizzas. Uh, come on, Jeffy, let's go. Okay. Hey. Uh, hello. Oh, hey. What can I do for you, two gentlemen? Uh, we're, we're here for the fifty thousand dollar pizza delivery contest. Fifty thousand dollars? That's a lot of dough. Huh? Yeah, 
because this, 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 this pizza place, you know, the dough, we, we do dough. Yeah, 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 I get it, but no, but we seriously need the money, so we, we, we're, we're willing to deliver pizzas for $50,000, the contest. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, uh, I'll just get the uniforms, but uh, while I'm gone, can you watch the phone, please? Well, watch the phone. Yeah, yeah, if the phone rings, just answer it and say, you know, it's Domino's, you, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, um, all right, Jeff, you watch the phone, I'm using the bathroom. Okay, got it. Hello? Oh, is this Domino? No, it's Pizza Hut. Hello? Oh, is that Domino? No, it's Papa John's. Hello? Hello, is this Jimmy? Who the fuck's asking? What, Jimmy, who are you talking to? Um, nobody. Okay, guys, I got your uniforms here. You, uh, you ready to deliver some pizzas? Yeah, we're, delivered, we're ready to deliver some pizzas. Yeah, we're, we're ready. Okay. All right. Jeffy, our first house, you're gonna go to the front door and deliver the pizza, okay? But why do I be doing that? Because you're a little kid and you'd get a better tip than I would get because I'm old and they're not gonna tip me well. So you go to the front door, knock on it, they're gonna answer the door, you're gonna take their money, give them the pizza, and you're gonna get your tip, okay? Alright, 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 we'll do it. We'll get that tip. Is it hot as hell? Uh, yeah. You see, because I am the devil, so... Oh, that'll be 14 dollars. Well, how about six dollars and sixty-six cents? Oh, uh, what about a tip? Uh, no tip! Isn't that so evil? <laughs> no tip! You must be delusional! Stop! No tip! Jesus! Dang, this job sucks doggy dick! What, 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 what happened, Jeffy? Six dollars, and he didn't give me a tip. What? Uh, only six dollars? That, that's not enough to cover the pizza. I know, Daddy. What an asshole! Well, uh, okay, Jimmy, let, let me go talk to him. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, we just delivered a pizza here, and you didn't seem to pay the full amount for the pizza. I know. Isn't it evil? Uh, yeah, and and illegal. Uh, also, we didn't receive a tip. Either. Oh, you want the tip? Jeff, let me get your tip. What's up, rub my ball sack all over his pizza? Pepperoni and ball sack. Jeff, let's just get out of here. Daddy, I should go back here and teach that motherfucker a lesson. No, Jeff, just shut up. The violence is gonna solve it. I'm telling you, open the door, fair, right in the suck hole, Daddy. Jeff, just shut up. Oh, Daddy, look out! Ah! How do you not see a bright red Lamborghini? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you. My neck hurts. I'm paralyzed as fuck for sure now. <laughs> I barely hit you. Wait a minute. You work for Domino's? But now I do. D did you hit me in a Domino's car? Uh, uh, yeah. Chick fucking chick. I'm so fucking paid.